Last episode, I mentioned how four of my five favorite cruise lines are now gone, and unfortunately today, we'll be talking about another one of those, which is no exception. This company started off on bad footing, did better than anyone expected, then was bought out, and abruptly ended. So, let's dive into and figure out what happened to Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. In order to understand this company, we need to talk about Bahamas Celebration Cruise Lines, which began taking up operation from a cruise line called Imperial Majesty Cruise Lines. They bought an old 1981 built cruise ferry and named it Bahamas Celebration. She was unique in the way that it very much looked like a ferry, but the cruises were given good reviews, and she was apparently nice on the inside. She even had a small water park and a nice dome at the stern, which I assume was a restaurant. She even kept her ferry ramps for an unknown reason. She began sailing out of Port Everglades, but in 2010, they moved to Palm Beach because it had a small cruise terminal that could fit the ship. They did two, they did two night cruises to Nassau until they stopped that and went to Freeport. From 2010 to 2014, things went as normal, however, disaster struck in 2014 when the ship hit a small rock and began to sink. However, it made it back to port and no one died. The hole was patched and the crews began to pump out the water, however, the cost to repair the ship was too great and the cruise lines declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy and dissolved. Now why did I just tell you the history of an entirely different cruise line? This isn't what you came to watch. Well, in 2015, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line was formed by the same people as Celebration Cruise Lines. In fact, the founder of these cruise lines was the former CEO of Norwegian Cruise Lines, which is where the confusion comes from of people thinking Bahamas Paradise was owned by Norwegian. No, they were not. Their first move was selling the Bahama Celebration, and the ship was gone by 2016. They used the money to buy a former carnival cruise ship named Grand Celebration and refitted it with its weird livery, and began sailing out of Palm Beach. She sailed in this capacity until 2017, when Bahamas Paradise rebranded. Mock the simple livery all you want, but I love it. You never see orange on ships, so it stands out, and the logo on and branding also make me feel tropical before I even step on board. If any of you want me to cover the Grand Celebrations history in the future, let me know. In 2017, they bought the former Costa Romantica and were becoming the cruise line that would save older ships like CMV lines. In 2017 as well, the Grand Celebration made humanitarian trips to St. Thomas after a hurricane and gave the cruise line good publicity. In 2018, the Grand Classica began doing cruises to Nassau, making a return to the city for the first time since 2010. And in 2019, the Grand Celebration helped with humanitarian efforts in the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian. The cruise line's future was looking up. Even though the Grand Classica had received harsh reviews for being rushed into conversion and being more of a time capsule than her older sister, as if she was stuck in the 80s, a problem the ship still faces till this day. Some were even predicting the cruise line would become the future new Royal Caribbean. The line also got good reviews from the staff for the work conditions. Everything was right until 2020, it was the, at this time I saw some of my favorite cruise ships get scrapped, and the boat people began debating on what would be next to go. In November 2020, the Grand Celebration was sold, and in January 2021, she arrived in India for scrapping, and by the end of the year, she was gone. The cruise line began cruises again in June 2020, with only one ship. They were praised for leading the way in cruise line restarting, however, it was revealed that they only restarted so quickly because they were desperate for money. Quality on their one remaining ship declined and they began to take loans for a possible modernization of the Grand Classica. However, in December 2021, it was announced for the third time in a row the cruise line would end. The owners seem like they don't know how to keep a company from dying. 
The line was bought by Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville at Sea. The line would rebrand but still technically exist. However, the line is no longer under the same branding and has fallen from its height. Bahamas Paradise did marketing and excursions very well. And I wish the cruises were longer. They felt like a time capsule into the golden days of cruises, yet still fit into the modern day. The Grand Celebration especially was a truly a grand ship. The cruise line could come back if the Margaritaville partnership ends, but for now, it's gone. Anyways, this is what happened. See you next time.